We're now going to turn back to Canberra where Tim Watt, who's the local Labor member for Jellybrand, where Toyota's Altona plant is located. We tried to speak to him earlier, had a few problems, but we've got him on the line now. Thanks very much for being there. Um, Tim, let me ask you, I guess, straight off the bat, what do you expect this impact will be in your local community, which obviously job losses is the first one, but broader than that? Look, this, the impact of this is going to be devastating. I mean, there's 2,500 people employed directly at the Toyota Altona plant, thousands more in the uh, component supply chain. And then down the road in Williamstown, we're going to have another 1,400 workers at the Williamstown shipyards whose jobs are also at risk. Now, the Tony Abbott government has been nothing but bad news for Melbourne's West, and he's promised a million new jobs. Well, we haven't seen any out my way yet. Can I ask you, can you, can you blame the Abbott government for this? I spoke to Jamie Briggs a little earlier, uh, and he made the point uh, that, you know, whether it was Holden or whether it was Toyota, the companies in their announcements made the point uh, that government subsidies couldn't have saved them. What's your reaction to that? Well, look, we've heard a lot of talk about this perfect storm confronting the Australian manufacturing industry. But what do we want from a captain in a perfect storm? Do we want someone that abandons ship and lets the crew don't go down with the ship? Or do we want someone that sets course for, for fairer seas? I mean, Steve Brax uh, provided the model before Christmas of how a little bit, a little bit of leadership could have saved Toyota. He said the Prime Minister should lead a delegation to Japan, bring the component makers, bring the supply chain along, and see what was necessary to keep the Camry and get the new Camry line uh, operating in Altona. But Tony Abbott sat in his hands. I mean, what has he done? Just lastly, where do we go from here? I mean, it, it has now been announced. There's no turning back, I suppose. Holden, it's been followed by Toyota. Toyota cars, unlike Holden cars, were still selling pretty well. Uh, what, what can happen from here? What can government do? What can the opposition do? Well, we need a government with a bit of a vision for the Australian manufacturing sector. You know, a vision that's broader than over the Christmas break, the Abbott government working on a work for the doll scheme. I mean, I want jobs in my electorate that are more than just picking up rubbish at the Hoskin Reserve across from an empty Altona plant. So what are you thinking, though? What, what, what sort of... You, you're talking new industries, support for, for, for developing uh, new industries in manufacturing in light of the loss of the car sector? Well, my focus for the moment is on the existing jobs in my electorate. And as I say, there's another 1,400 jobs that are under the direct control of Tony Abbott. They're jobs reliant on defence contracts. They're directly in his power to save or not. And in light of uh, today's events, I think he needs to take action on those jobs now. All right, Tim Watt, thanks very much for being there. Appreciate your patience as well. Thank you.